Who, there is a belief system that arose in the 1500s called Socinianism. Who's heard of Socinianism? I'm going to point you to my next slide. <coughs> Socinianism is a system of Christian doctrine named from Forster Socinus that was developed among the Polish brethren in the minor reformed church of Poland during the 15th and 16th centuries. The roots of Socinianism are founded in the Italian Anabaptist movement of the 1540s. It began with Lelio Socinus and continued by his nephew Faustus. Socinian theology, as summarised in the Rakovian Catechism, rejects the orthodox view of the Trinity and the divinity of Christ. They believe that the Father is the only God and Jesus Christ did not pre-exist, but rather came into existence as a human being at the virgin birth. And all today who hold onto this system of doctrine could be said to be Socinian in their theology and Christology. I'm Socinian. Because that is that I agree with their theology and Christology. We're speaking simply about their theology and Christology. They believed the Father's the only God, Jesus Christ is not God, he didn't pre exist, he's a human being. I agree with that system of theology and Christology. And if you're sitting here this morning and you can agree with that, then you are Socinian also in your theology and Christology. Mind you folks, that that theology and Christology was the theology and Christology of the first church. Now why am I bringing this up? Because on this verse, verse 33 which a lot of Trinitarians believe is one of the ultimate proof texts that Jesus is God and that the Jews were accusing him of being deity. This is what Matthew Henry says on John 10.33. Let's look at my next slide. (coughs) Now first, thus far they were in the right, he's speaking of the Jews, that what Christ said of himself amounted to this, that he was God. For he had said that he was one with the Father and that he would give eternal life and Christ did not deny it, which he would would have done if it had been a mistaken inference from his words. But secondly, they they were much mistaken, speaking of the Jews, when they looked upon him as a mere man and that the Godhead he claimed was an usurpation and of his own making. They thought it absurd and impious that such a one as he, who appeared in the fashion of a poor, mean, despicable man, should profess himself the Messiah and entitle him to the honours confessedly due to the Son of God. Now pay attention to the underline. Note 1. Those who say that Jesus is a mere man and only a made God, as the Socinians say, do in fact charge him with blasphemy, but do effectually, effectually prove it upon themselves. And he who, being a man, a sinful man, makes himself a God, as the Pope does, who claim divine powers and prerogatives, is unquestionably a blasphemer and that Antichrist. You're an Antichrist, folks, if you do not affirm the divinity of Jesus Christ. Did you get that? Socinian theology and Christology, according to Trinitarianism, is anti- Antichrist. Wow. This is heavy duty. If you reject the divinity of Jesus, you are considered Antichrist, according to Trinitarians. That's Matthew Henry, one of the most popular commentators out there, read and adored by so many. Thank <laughs> you.